Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to part two of the apartment complex build. So in the first part, as you saw, we built most of the, well, we built the exterior and we did the first three studio apartments. So in this, uh, this part, we're going to be doing the rest of the top floor here. So all of the other apartments now, not all of these are studio apartments. I think there's actually only maybe even one more studio apartment. I don't know. Cause this one here is definitely a studio, but I felt like, um, you know, and there was also a few suggestions to do uh, more apartments that had more rooms and just more beds, just more for a family as well. So we did one more uh, small studio here, as you can see, with, of course, another loft because we're having, <laughs> having way too much fun with the lofts to not do it again. And I know some people are, so in this apartment here, you can see where that, where that door to the bathroom is underneath. Uh, a lot of people said, uh, well, what, they said they were a little bit concerned that it might not be accessible, but don't worry, it is. It works perfectly fine. Like I said, everything has been tested. It all works. Uh, so if you see me doing anything in here, I have tested it and it does work. So that's really good. Um, which I think is it's super cool that it works. Uh, it really is. Um, it was funny. So like some of the comments from last time talking about what we should do with the lower floor. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people seem to agree to make it like a communal kind of space. Either either like make it a communal um, kind of, I guess, uh, for, for like a communal space for the building. So you'd have like a, an apart a complex gym and stuff like that. Or we just make it like a public, you know, cafe, uh, maybe a bar, a gym, library, that kind of stuff. So I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we're not going to get to that in this part because again, like I said, there's just so, so, so much building. Uh, well, not building, so much furnishing because there's so, so many apartments. There's a lot to do. So it's a multi-part endeavor to get it all done. As you can see, I'm testing out this loft right now. It is not working. Putting it on an angle though it did work, which I didn't really like the look of, so I do change that up a little bit. Uh, right. Oh yeah, so this comment, which I found I found interesting, um, was like, has ladder equals uses it as a shelf, and has shelves and equals uses them as a ladder. Wood logic again. But I mean, there's not really an actual ladder in The Sims 4. There's like the ladder items that I think, I, I don't know, I, I assume you're talking about the one, there's like a step ladder in Decorative, I think. Uh, that has like flowers on it or something. And then I guess the bookcase as well kind of looks like a stepladder. But the reason I didn't want to use either of those... I don't know if there's another thing that I'm completely missing. And I apologize if I am. But if it was those two, I didn't want to use them because I had stuff on them. So, And then there was another comment. This one didn't get many thumbs up. But I remember reading it and I was like, well, that's not true. Someone was like, uh, you can't have... Uh, <laughs> like you wouldn't be able to climb up those ladders because they're vertical. It's like, well, I mean, there's a lot of vertical ladders in the world. They don't have to be slanted. Uh, <laughs> not all ladders are slanted. I think the biggest problem with these fake ladders is that they're a flat shelf. Um, so I guess uh, maybe that's what you mean by having a vertical ladder like that. Because because they're not bars, you couldn't actually grab onto them very well. So it'd be pretty dangerous to climb them. Uh, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, let's pretend that they're an actual ladder. It's mainly j there just as a visual aid. So it doesn't look like everything's just floating and there's no way to get to it. It's really just there as a sort of visual to help you be like, oh, yeah, okay, you can get up to that. Um, and then, oh, yeah, so this was another suggestion that I really liked. You could do shops or club hangouts based on skills since it's hard to fit skill items in the apartment, which is not a bad idea. So we could do a few club hangouts down the bottom or something along those lines. Um... And I think uh, there was, a, I think that was kind of like the main points. There's a bunch of comments on here, of course. A lot of you guys really, really loved the idea of playing around with the lofts and and uh, trying something new. And I had a lot of fun doing them too. And I still am, obviously. Uh, so I was really trying to use something different for a ladder here. I really wanted to use that uh, little wall decoration that you saw me use the first time. I think I'd bring it out again because I'm just trying to find something that I can use. Something different for a ladder. Then I found that and I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. Let's use that as a decorate, decorative piece because it looks cool. Um, and also that because it looks cool. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. I think this is, this is like a more classy looking uh, studio apartment. I think it's a little bit more upscale than the other ones. Uh, it looks quite fancy indeed. Yeah, so I really wanted to use these is what I was talking about. Um, but if it didn't have like the curved top, you could probably line them up well enough that it would look good. But because it had like the sort of curved top, it didn't really work. So I think I just went back to shelves. I think, it, yeah, I used a different shelf on this one, this sort of smaller one. Um, I don't know. Looks It, look, it kind of looks like you could fold it away. And I like the idea of that. Mm. I want myself a coffee because oh, because it's like uh, 9 a.m. right now as I'm recording this. So yeah, good morning. Um, mm. Mm. Coffee. Now, if you haven't seen part one of this, I feel like I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but um, of course you can see part one, but not necessary. Uh, I do have, oh, at the end, I do have screenshots again for this section. So uh, if you don't want to watch part one for whatever reason, you don't need to, but you can and would recommend 
great part. Uh, yeah, so at the top here, we just turned it into the living space, which, again, is kind of weird. Um, but I don't really mind, because I, I like it. I like it. Because, I mean, I think I said in the last part as well, it makes more sense to have a loft as, you know, the bed. Because that's where it wouldn't matter that you would have a really low ceiling, because you'd be sleeping in bed. The only problem with it is that if you got really scared and woke up quickly and hit your head on the ceiling... Um, so I guess that would be a problem, but it's not that big of a deal. So let's not worry about it. Uh, just playing around. Try, I was trying to really give this one a little bit more oomph than the others. Like I said, this one's a little bit more classy. Um, and as you saw just a second ago, I was testing out the kitchen. So the kitchen works perfectly fine. So when I was talking about, uh, so when you raise items up, I mentioned this last time, the way that things work, you can use things under them. No problem. Like Underneath doesn't have an issue. The issue is trying to get up to the other items. So it's it's kind of weird. Like they don't, it doesn't matter if an item is floating above something else as long as there's room to get to the item underneath. Then it will work. The item above needs that same, I guess, that same idea. It needs the room in front of it so that they can use it. But anything under it doesn't matter. If that if that makes sense. Um, but I do suggest just going around and playing around with it yourself and giving it a go because you'll get a much better idea of how it works uh, by just playing around with it. Just try it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, we're making basically, I guess, double wide uh, studio apartment. Well, it's not a studio apartment at all anymore. It's a, I think, I believe this is a two bedroom apartment. The problem is because the bedrooms are so small, I couldn't really decorate them at all. So this one is more of a standard kind of just small apartment. There's nothing particularly special about this one. But when we go over the other side, we do some more cool loft related stuff and make it a bit of fun. Um, I think I was, I don't even know what I was doing there. I think I was just looking at the other apartments being like, damn, they look cool. <laughs> damn, they look cool. Yeah, so this is the problem here. So we have this double bed in this tiny room. So you can't really put any side tables. You can't even get a, I don't think I even, did I put a dresser in here? I don't know. Uh, but it's because it's such a small room. There's not much I could do. So I was just like, eh, it'll be all right. There, there's plenty of other really awesome apartments that you can, uh, <laughs> you can check out anyway. So... Uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so just getting, uh, so this is a, yeah, two bedroom, so you can have three sims in this apartment. It would be a little crowded, uh, but you know, it would totally work, it would totally work. So, uh, one thing I haven't done yet in this part, I don't get around to it, I haven't done any outdoor furnishing yet, so none of the balconies have anything on them. Uh, which I definitely want to add stuff out there, because it seems like there should be something there, even if they can't even use it. Uh, because I don't think that, there's not a lot that I could actually put out in the balconies that they could use, because I don't know if you can see, but if you look through that door, it's only one deep, and it's like four wide, so it's not, all the balconies are pretty damn small. Uh, they're both mostly there just for looks. So, I don't know, I think we might put some chairs out there, or maybe even some, some more plants or something. Like, you could have your own little potted plant that you're growing, like blackberries or something on. I don't know, it's things like that. If you have any suggestions, let me know as well. But that's kind of what I was thinking along the lines of. Uh, just bringing that brick wall back on the inside again. Gotta love a good brick wall. Um, I don't... No, yeah, this, this space was not easy to furnish, because... The problem with it, I don't know if you can tell, but because half of the room has four doors on it, um, that's essentially a hallway, then the other half has a huge hole in it, which is the kitchen, so there's actually not a lot of ways you can configure this space uh, well. So I, had, I had a hard time trying to get it, <laughs> trying to, get it to work very well. Uh, there's also no dining table, I don't think, in that apartment. Even though it's bigger, there's no dining table, which is, nah. Well, yeah, it's one of those things. Maybe I should have put a loft in there. I mean, I could always go back. We're not, the thing is, we're not done with the build. So if there's anything that you're like, oh, uh, maybe he should do that, then let me know because we can still change it up a little bit. Although, actually, I don't know. I might finish the build before this part comes out. I don't know. Leave your suggestions anyway. If I take them, that's great. If I don't get a chance to, then that's a shame. But yeah, leave your suggestions as well. If there's anything that you, you, that sticks out to you like, oh, uh, I probably would have done this or that would be a cool idea, let me know because it'll be good. Um, so this, yeah, this apartment's kind of, oh, we did get a dining table in as well. Yeah, I, I know that came up a while ago, but it only, only just clicked in my brain that there's a dining table right there. Um, yeah, so this one, I had to sort of put the sofa to the side and like rotate the TV, which is not that bad. It just, it's a bit weird that it's not all in line, but it's, it was kind of hard to get this room to work in a good way. Uh, maybe a loft is in order. I don't know. Uh, yeah, see, here's the problem with the bedroom. There's absolutely no room in that, uh, in that double bedroom, unfortunately. Uh, we do have, we do have room in the single bedroom though, which is good. So we can get nice, uh, nice, like, wardrobe, set of drawers. I think we get a toy chest or something in there as well. Mmm. Mmm. Having some more coffee. 
Oh yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to go cold because when a coffee is made, you know, when a coffee is made to be hot, it's really gross when it's cold. Like if you're having an iced coffee or something that you know that's designed to be cold, designed to be iced, that's fine. But when it's supposed to be hot and then it goes like lukewarm or like tepid and then you're like, oh, it's just gross. This is gross. So, you know, that's I apologize, but I got to have me coffee. Uh, just going around outside adding some lighting as well because it was looking a bit dark out there. We want to light it up. Make sure it looks B-E-A beautiful. I really, I've know I've said this so many times before, but I really, and I know a lot of people agree with this. I really want cars in The Sims 4. I The thing is, I recognize and I acknowledge that cars in The Sims 4 would be 100% useless in terms of, you know, helping The Sims get around. Because the thing is, we teleport from lot to lot, essentially. So it's not like you need a car. But in terms of a life simulation game, you know, owning and aspiring to have a super expensive car or just owning your first car or any of that kind of stuff is something that is a pretty big part of a lot of people's lives. It's just like, that's your car, you know, like you have... That's... That's a big part of your life. A lot of people have cars. Obviously, a lot of people don't, but a lot of people do. And I think I think it should be a part of the game, just as well to make houses more realistic. So you can add a garage onto a house, and you can add a driveway, and all that kind of. Obviously, you can add a driveway now. That's just a bunch of paving tiles. But and you can like the. I feel like I would be happy even if the cars were like like they were in The Sims Three, which uh with, with like minus the driving around, like. Because in The Sims 3, they just kind of teleported into the car, right? It was just basically a decorative item. They teleported in, they drove around the town a little bit. But they didn't even need to do that in Sims 4. They didn't even need to drive around. Just teleport into the car and then, sh like, load up the map and then, boom, you're on another lot. Like, that's all it has to be, in my opinion. I would be happy with that, because any more than that, I don't think it's even necessary, really. I, I personally want them just for the realism factor of, you know, being able to buy and own a car. Um, which I imagine there's probably, I could probably download mods for it, but I want it in the game because then, it, cause then I can, because I don't like to build houses that have custom items or mods or all that kind of stuff in it because then people have to download those and it just becomes way too complicated. And I've been over this before. Um, but what I'm going to do, Sims 4 custom car. I just want to see, because obviously people are going to have created cars to the Sims 4, so I just want to see what there's out there. I've never actually looked before. Um, let's see. Is there a website that I actually recognize here? I don't want to go to some dodgy website. Um, hmm. Decorative vehicles, cheat, cars, trains. Okay, okay. Oh. Sims, the Sims resources, also check out that. Um, so these ones, yeah, see, look, it's just, I think that's exactly what this person has done. It's just, you click on the car, just teleports you. This is a decorative piece. Slightly higher quality model than... Because you can scale up the toy cars, but <laughs> they're really blurry. Uh, oh, okay. And then <laughs> on the Sims resource, it's like searching for cars. And it just shows like kids clothing. There's a few custom cars in here though. Um, that's all I really want is just decorative items that you can put around the place. Because it's just... It's so lonely without them. Um, and you know, the whole reason I went on that tangent was because I just wanted... I was going to say, it would be nice to have like a parking garage in like an apartment complex. Because it would make a lot of sense. It's like... A lot of apartment complexes have that. They have like a parking garage underneath or they have a parking lot next to it or, you know, even just road parking or something. I don't know. I think it'd be really cool. Um, anyway, so we're on to this apartment now. Uh, so this one, I wanted to have two bedrooms, but I wanted one of them to be a loft because why not? Uh, we hadn't done one in a while. The last apartment didn't have it. And it's like I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do another loft. I I'm missing it. It's time to time to bring back the loft. Hashtag the loft lives. Hashtag loft life. Yeah, that's better. Hashtag loft life at The Sims. Um, <laughs> I'll just be like, oh god, what? That would just be like, oh god, what has James done again? Stop sending tweets our way. Um, yeah, so this one, uh, getting the living room underneath, bedroom on top. Obviously, a kid's bedroom. Possibly a little bit dangerous, but it would also be awesome if I was a kid and I had this bedroom. That'd be the best thing ever. It would be so cool. I mean, it's it's safe because you got that fence there. Um, that I guess the, the unsafe part would be the ladder, really. Uh, so you'd probably want, ideally, probably what you'd do is have like a gate that you could close at the top, so you don't, <laughs> you don't like roll off. And also, I feel like the kid would have to be old enough to acknowledge that you have to be safe going up. But I'd probably say, mm, what would you say? No younger than. Oh, that's a hard one because like, oh. Uh, 10? No, I feel like 10... Mm. No, I reckon 10. I reckon you'd have to be no younger than 10 to use this loft responsibly. 
Oh, and then even still, I remember myself at 10, I would definitely be jumping off of that lot. You know what I, actually, you know what I would have done? We used to have, uh, like these foam mattresses. So, so when people came for sleepovers, they could sleep on like a foam mattress and not just like the floor or something. Um, what, what I would have done is put the foam mattress on the floor. We used to have two of them. So you'd stack them up on top of each other. And then what I would have done is I would have jumped off the top of this loft and landed on the two foam mattresses. That's what I would have done at 10. Uh, guaranteed, because I remember playing around with those so much. I remember what you could do with them as well. Oh, that was the best thing ever. I wish we still had them, because I would still do it now. Um, you could, because they would fit in our stairway. Uh, so from upstairs, you'd put a foam mattress in the stairs, and it would sort of, it would basically turn the stairs into a slide, is essentially what it would do. And it was so much fun. Like, you'd, you'd, uh, you do that, then all you gotta do is wear, like, silk boxes or pants or something, so it's, like, really slippery, and then you'd, like, you could use the stairs as a slide. I used to love doing that so much. I don't know if mum ever knew about that. Oh, she probably did. <laughs> I mean, kids think their parents don't know much, but they usually know exactly what you're up to. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Um, no, nah, that was so much fun. And then, yeah, the other thing, yeah, like I said, I used to, you'd stack two of them. It's not as fun as jumping off the top of a loft, but jump off the top of the couch onto the onto the mattresses. That was always good fun as well. Um, oh, yeah, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, as long as your kid's responsible, they'll, they'll be safe up there. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, the loft up the top, a little bit of fun. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. I really like it. Um, it's a really fun. It's a really fun thing to do. I guess the only problem with it is that uh, it's not too big. As long as you don't make the lofts too big in the game. They don't get in the way too much. Like, obviously, they block your view of the stuff underneath, but usually with the walls down, it's not too bad. Um, you can you can play around with it quite quite easily, I would say, as long as it's not too big um, and it's not blocking anything too important. Then it, it's quite it's quite usable. So yeah, just getting a little easel in there as well with a mirror. Oh, that loft looks prime for jumping off of. <laughs> I want to jump off it. Hmm. Hmm. Have more coffee. I've got to, got to finish my coffee. Um, there. Yeah, so this is a bit of a fun apartment, isn't it? Got a bit of yellow in there. Got a bit of a blue loft. Got the yellow and blue theme going on. Got a little office area there. So you know when uh, when the parents are at home working on the computer, they can keep an eye on the kid and make sure they don't jump off the loft onto the, <laughs> onto the floor and break their neck or something. I'm surprised I never broke my neck actually jumping off stuff. Huh. I guess that's a good thing. I did break my arm twice though from jumping off stuff. Um, oh, no, to be fair, the first one, I think I was like, it must have been like three. I think I was three. I fell off a chair. That wasn't really my, I feel like that was not my fault. If I feel like three and under, it's not your fault. I feel like, you know, my safety is not, I, I don't understand what safety is at three. So I feel like that's not my fault. Uh, and then the other one was, I think I was six, five or six. That one was my fault. I was, I don't even know. How did it even, I was, I know, I know. I, I remember it because I was sitting in a box I don't know what it was a box for. It was a big box that I could fit in, and I was sitting in the box, and I was sitting on the... I don't even know why I'm t telling stories from my childhood, but I was sitting on a box on the on the sofa, and just having a good time, you know, like, rocking back and forth in the box, and then, you know, as to be expected, the box fell off the sofa, and I must have put my arm out to, like, break my fall or something, but then, obviously, that broke my arm. It wasn't too bad, though. It was just a fracture, so it wasn't, it wasn't anything horrific, but good times. And then, uh... And then the other thing I did was broke my knee as well when I was 12. Good times. Good times. Uh, that I did uh, by falling off a bike. Having a great time. Riding down uh, riding down a hill. Full speed. So, yeah. Kind of naturally lost control. And then after that, I was kind of afraid of bikes again. And I never really rode a bike again. I mean, I did, but I never... Not really. I lost my passion. I used to love riding bikes. And then I broke my knee from a bike. And I was like, I don't really like this anymore. <laughs> I liked my lesson though, that's for sure. Not doing that again. Mm. It was really good though, because I really hated uh, being in school plays. And we had, because uh, I think, I can't remember. I don't think we did it every, I think it was every two years at my school, we did a school play and everyone had to be in it. Um, and it was like, I think it was a couple months away or something. And I broke my knee and I got out of it. No, actually, I think it must have been like a month away. Broke my knee, got out of it. And I was like, yes, so good. Ah, uh, good times. Didn't have to do the school play. That was, I think that was probably the happiest thing ever. Like my happiest moment in my life. So no, I'm kidding, obviously. But it was one of the greats. It was up there because I was so relieved I didn't have to be in the school play. 
because I absolutely loathe it. I know some people love it. It's just not my thing at all. Oh, that was good. That was a good escape. Oh, and then, I don't know. This is just a story, for, stories from your childhood. I should do this in a podcast, really. It'd probably make more sense. Uh, what was I gonna, oh, yeah, no, because I broke my knee, what I was going to say is because I spent a lot, like, I used to be uh, super, super outdoorsy, actually, which is weird me saying that now because I'm really quite the opposite now. But uh, I used to... I used to, yeah, be outside a lot. I used to ride my bike a lot. And I used to, you know, be playing. I used to play a lot of basketball. And uh, and I think, what was I playing at the time? Was I playing rugby still? I think so. I didn't really like rugby though, but I played it. Um, yeah, anyway, I used to be outside a lot. And then because I broke my knee, I was inside for about like at least, I think it was at least six weeks uh, for the cast. And then after that, you know, you had like rehab for like, I think six months or something. Uh, just to get my like, get back to like full power in my knee and that, but yeah. So I was inside a lot, and uh, that's when I really started playing video games a lot. I used to play before that, but I wasn't like you know all day like I do now, because uh, it's literally what I have to do for a living now is play video games all day, which is not a bad it's not a bad way to go. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying I never used to do that much. Um, yeah, so I started playing video games a lot, and I remember um, the one I played a lot. I think I played Lego Star Wars the first one because I think that had just come out around then. That was awesome. I, because I think the best thing was because my we have uh this is a um, in my parents' home we have a five it's a five five bedroom home four bedrooms upstairs one is downstairs the downstairs one was my sister's but she had actually gone away for a year to live in England at the time because um you know she just finished high school and she wanted to go away uh so that room was free so when I broke my knee because it was so much easier for me to stay downstairs rather than having to try and get up and downstairs all the time with crutches because that's just an unnecessary nuisance really so I took the bedroom downstairs and then we I think I don't I don't think we no we didn't have a computer like I didn't have my own computer at that point but it was like the family computer and we moved it in there so I could play games it was awesome because I'd sit in bed and I'd freaking play games how cool is that I used to think that was the coolest thing ever I was like oh, this is cool so I played Lego Batman and I played I played a lot of Tycoon City New York as well I remember playing that a lot um, and I I often go to like pick it up again and I'm like do I want to play this and then I'm like no it's actually a terrible game but it's all I could really play then and I think I, I assume I, I must have played a lot of the sims as well I can't really remember I just those two games for some reason stand out in my memories Lego Lego Star Wars and uh Tycoon City New York I don't know why and I'd sit in bed play those games oh, good times good, <laughs> good times oh man I miss that I do miss that I don't know why, because obviously it wasn't actually a great time because I broke my knee, but oh, good memories though. Had a lot of fun. Um, where are we now? I've just told stories for the last like 15 minutes or so, but I hope you've enjoyed them. If you don't know who I am, then I guess you probably are like, what is this guy talking about? Would you please shut up? If you do know me though, you might, might have found it interesting. Anyway, in the last apartment of the upstairs, you can see this one is the full width, so it's like three uh, studio apartments wide. I thought we'd do the, the, the two bedrooms at the front because I thought well, it was kind of cool because it allowed us to get two full-size bedrooms in, like we're going to do a proper bedroom with a bathroom. And then the living space out the back is only three wide, as you can see, which I thought was a fun little thing to do. So you still have a small kitchen, but then you have room for a dining area in between, and then you have a living space on the other side. And I thought it was kind of cool because you get these huge doors that let in lots of light, it's not a particularly wide room, but it still allows you to fit a lot. And it actually allows you to sort of uh, segment the room quite a bit as well, which I thought was quite nice. Um, this area is also, I just noticed, really, really black and white. Oh, hang on. There's some color coming in right now. I don't know. I might have put more color in. I can't remember. I did this, I did this a couple days ago, actually. So I, I don't really remember what I did. I've done a lot since then. Uh, I'm not sure what. Let me just take a sip of my coffee because I think by now it's probably getting too cold. Hang on. Mmm. Yeah, hang on, I've got to finish this. Mm. And especially, especially if you don't know me, you're like, why is this guy, you know, stopping talking to take a sip of his coffee? Who does he think he is? However, if you are saying that because you don't know me, well, first of all, thank you for sticking around for like 24 minutes, because that means now you do know me, and now you're going to watch more of my, my videos, because... I mean, I think I think it's the theory is proven. If you stick around for most, like, pretty much to the end of the video, you're probably going to at least watch one more of my videos. So, 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around. Now, these first screenshots are the same as the last episode, just so in case you missed that one, you can see what the outside looks like in a better in a better light and just get a good idea of what it is. Uh, so this is just the outside, and then we'll have a look at the new apartments that we've built today. And then we'll be going into part three, building the sort of communal space down below. So if you have any suggestions for the communal space, uh, let me know in the comments because we still have that to do. I haven't started it yet, so it would be good to know your thoughts. Uh, so here is that weird apartment that I had trouble like furnishing. This one I think it looks really nice actually, except the ceiling looks a bit weird there. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, there's the loft area where I started telling stories from my childhood about jumping onto mattresses and sliding down the stairs because that was freaking awesome. Now this will be this will be available for download on the gallery when it's done. It's not currently done. At the final part of this, which will probably either be part three or part four depending on how long it takes me, it will be available for download. So just please remain patient and uh, check out the description then. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the stories of my childhood because I think they were pretty fun. Uh, some fun times to be had there. But I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.